Zephaniah chapters 1 to 3. Chapter 1 Judgment on the Whole Earth. 1 The word of the Lord which came unto Zephaniah the son of Cushi, the son of Gedaliah, the son of Amariah, the son of Hezekiah, in the days of Hosea the son of Ammon, king of Judah. 2 I will utterly consume all things from off the land, says the Lord. 3 I will consume man and beast, I will consume the fowls of the heaven, and the fish of the sea, and the stumbling blocks with the wicked, and I will cut off man from off the land, says the Lord. Causes of the Judgment for I will also stretch out my hand upon Judah, and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and I will cut off the remnant of Baal from this place, and the name of the idolatrous and pagan priests, five and those that worship the host of heaven upon the housetops, and those that worship and that swear by the Lord, and yet swear by Milcom, six and those that are turned back from the Lord, and those that have not sought the Lord, nor inquired for Him. 7. Hold your peace at the presence of the Lord God. For the day of the Lord is at hand, for the Lord has prepared a sacrifice, he has bidden his guests. 8 And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice, that I will punish the princes, and the king's children, and all such as are clothed with foreign apparel. 9 In the same day also will I punish all those that leap over the threshold, who fill their masters' houses with violence and deceit. 10 And it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate, and a wailing from the second quarter, and a great crashing from the hills. 11. Wail, you inhabitants of Maktesh, for all the merchant people are cut down, all they that trade with silver are cut off. 12. And it shall come to pass at that time, that I will search Jerusalem with lambs, and punish the men that are settled in their complacency, that say in their heart, The Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. 13. Therefore their goods shall become booty, and their houses a desolation, they shall also build houses, but not inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards, but not drink their wine. The Great Day of the Lord 14. The Great Day of the Lord is near, it is near, and hastens quickly, even the voice of the Day of the Lord, there the mighty man shall cry out bitterly. 15. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of ruin and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, 16 A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fortified cities, and against the high towers. 17 And I will bring distress upon men, that they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against the Lord, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh like refuse. 18 Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Chapter 2 Call to Repentance 1. Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired, 2. Before the decree comes forth, before the day passes like the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord comes upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger comes upon you. 3. Seek your the Lord, all you meek of the earth, who have kept his commands, seek righteousness, seek meekness, it may be you shall be hidden in the day of the Lord's anger. Judgment against Philistia West. For for Gaza shall be forsaken, and Ishkelon shall be a desolation. They shall drive out Ashdod at the noonday, and Akron shall be rooted up. 5. Woe unto the inhabitants of the seacoast, the nation of the Cherethites. The word of the Lord is against you, O Canaan, the land of the Philistines, I will even destroy you, that there shall be no inhabitant. 6. And the seacoast shall be dwellings and cottages for shepherds, and folds for flocks. 7. And the coast shall be for the remnant of the house of Judah, they shall feed there, in the houses of Ashkelon shall they lie down in the evening, for the Lord their God shall visit them, and turn away their captivity. Judgment against Moab and Ammon, East. 8. I have heard the reproach of Moab, and the revilings of the children of Ammon, by which they have reproached my people, and made boasts against their borders. 9. Therefore as I live, says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, surely Moab shall be as Sodom, and the children of Ammon as Gomorrah, even the breeding of weeds, and salt pits, and a perpetual desolation. The residue of my people shall plunder them, and the remnant of my people shall possess them. 10. This shall they have because of their pride, because they have reproached and boasted themselves against the people of the Lord of hosts. 11. The Lord will be terrible unto them, 
for he will famish all the gods of the earth, and men shall worship him, every one from his place, even all the coasts of the nations. Judgment against Ethiopia South Twelve you Ethiopians also, you shall be slain by my sword. Judgment against Assyria North Thirteen and he will stretch out his hand against the north, and destroy Assyria, and will make Nineveh a desolation, and dry like a wilderness. Fourteen and flocks shall lie down in the midst of her, all the beasts of the nations, both the vulture and the hedgehog shall lodge in her capitals, their voice shall sing in the windows, desolation shall be in the thresholds, for he shall lay bare her cedar work. Fifteen This is the rejoicing city that dwelt securely, that said in her heart, I am, and there is none beside me, how has she become a desolation, a place for beasts to lie down in. Everyone that passes by her shall hiss, and shake his fist. Chapter 3 Injustice of Jerusalem 1. Woe to her that is rebellious and defiled, to the oppressing city. 2. She obeyed not the voice, she received not correction, she trusted not in the Lord, she drew not near to her God. 3. Her princes within her are roaring lions, her judges are evening wolves, they leave not a bone till the morning. 4. Her prophets are arrogant and treacherous persons, her priests have profaned the sanctuary, they have done violence to the law. Justice of the Lord 5. The just Lord is in her midst, he will do no wrong, every morning does he bring his judgment to light, he fails not, but the unjust knows no shame. 6. I have cut off the nations, their fortresses are desolate, I laid waste their streets, so that none passes by, their cities are destroyed, so that there is no man, there is no inhabitant. 7. I said, Surely you will fear me, you will receive instruction, so her dwelling should not be cut off, no matter how I punished her, but they rose early, and corrupted all their deeds. Judgment on the whole earth. 8. Therefore wait upon me, says the Lord, until the day that I rise up for plunder, for my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Promise of Conversion 9. For then will I restore to the people a pure language, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord, to serve him with one accord. 10. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia my worshippers, even the daughter of my dispersed, shall bring my offering. 11. In that day shall you not be ashamed for all your deeds, in which you have transgressed against me, for then I will take away out of the midst of you those that rejoice in your pride, and you shall no more be haughty in my holy mountain. 12. I will also leave in the midst of you an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of the Lord. 13. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed their flocks and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Promise of Restoration 14. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. 15. The Lord has taken away your judgments, he has cast out your enemy, the King of Israel, even the Lord, is in your midst, you shall not see harm any more. 16. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, and to Zion, let not your hands be weak. 17. The Lord your God in the midst of you is mighty, he will save, he will rejoice over you with joy, he will quiet you with his love, he will rejoice over you with singing. 18. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the appointed assembly, who are among you, to whom the reproach of it was a burden. 19. Behold, at that time I will deal with all that afflict you, and I will save her that is lame, and gather those that were driven out, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. 20. At that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth, when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, says the Lord.